one of the most important cause of failure in the CTO-PCI treatment, and when you go anterograde and the wire goes subintimal. So there are a lot of difficulty in re-entering to the lumen. Today, yeah. there are just one uh, device-based method to re-enter, which is the Stingray cross boss method, which is a, a very interesting method, but uh, it needs a steep learning curve. It costs a lot. Uh, it requires uh, um, great ability of the operators. And uh, there is a 30% of uh, unsuccess. So uh, according to the uh, theory, the, um, the theory that I summarized in my uh, paper in 2018 about the anti-grade fenestration orienting, which is a technique that consists in creating, when you are in the subintimal space, a multiple fenestration, dilating a balloon in the subintimal space, and then while I deflate the balloon, I'm ready to go with the wire through the fenestration created by this balloon in order to get in the true lumen. I now consider a, a device according to this uh, mechanism. So basically we prepare a balloon mounted on a dual lumen catheter. Uh, the over the wire system, over the wire system uh, move the balloon in the subintimal space. The monorail system uh, is loaded with a wire ready to go immediately after the deflation of the balloon. So with this wire I I able to get in the true lumen before the fenestration collapse. A lot of patients could benefit uh, of this treatment. Everybody knows that at least 20% of patients underwent uh, uh, angiography have a uh, CTO, a chronic total occlusion. Uh, well, we know that uh, uh, just a min minority of these patients are treated because uh, uh, the majority of uh, operators uh, have a lot of concern in treating this kind of lesion because they are very difficult. Uh, well, I try to simplify uh, this uh, kind of treatment, particularly when this treatment became uh, difficult. And this is difficult when you are subintimal. The majority of operators have a lot of difficulty in re-entering to the lumen. The, the beauty of this system is that it uh, can be adopted by the majority of the operators. And uh, even if you fail, you can consider the treatment as an investment procedure. So you can consider to uh, chat again the patient in two, three months, eventually with a good, uh, a, a more expert uh, uh, operator. I think that uh, one important challenge uh, for the operator treating CTO is to re-enter in the true lumen when it's subintimal. Uh, with this method, I try to simplify this difficult uh, operation with a simple maneuver. I think uh, it could be a great impact uh, because uh, we can consider with this device, which is not too expensive, uh, it will impact it particularly in countries where there is no a lot of resor economical resources in treating this patient. And uh, I think uh, particularly in this uh, area, uh, we can consider to use this uh, uh, device. Yes, uh, uh, together with my colleague Lorenzo Zalini, we prepare a multicentric uh, um, evaluation of uh, this device uh, and in short time it, it will be uh, published in, uh, in, uh, in a review.